we need the profile and the path now this is the random path now to create the profile you have to create a plane here so go to feature and select the plane now in the first reference select this line and second reference is this point and it will automatically create the plane perpendicular to this line on this point click ok now we have to create the profile in this plane go to this plane sketch normal now select uh, any shape I am going to select the center rectangle here and draw a rectangle click ok I am not going to define this sketch you can define by selecting the smart dimension now profile and path are ready now we can apply the swept tool select swept surface now in the profile sketch is already selected so select the path here now this is the swept boss base swept no so swept surface not the swept boss base and in the feature you will find the similar command swept boss base now here are different options let's try them now go to keep normal constant then these planes in the corner are perpendicular to the reference plane and if you follow the path it will follow the shape according to the path that is already created now these are the profile orientations now you can twist the path also you specify the twist value you can twist specify the twist value also and to apply the twist value the path should be smooth our path is not smooth we will later create the smooth path and apply the twist value now click ok and you will get the result now simply delete this swept surface now we are going to practice the guided curve for this go to the front plane sketch normal and draw a guide curve select this and from this draw any guide curve you like now make sure that this point is pierced with this select this point and this line and provide the pierce relation otherwise your guided curve will not work go to the surface and select the swept now in the profile select this already created profile and this path now in the guided guide curve option you have to select the your desired curve and it will follow the path according to the guide curve all other options are same simply click ok now this is our you can hide this plane this is our swept surface command now we will practice the twist along the path for this go to the surface edit edit the now this one is first of all select this line and edit the sketch now let's provide the sketch fillets here okay increase the radius up to 20 now this is our smooth profile a smooth path not to profile exit the sketch now you can hide it now you can go to swept the surface and select this profile and in the path select this path now in the option let's select the twist specify the twist value now let's apply 360 degree and the result is twist along the path 
so to apply the twist along the path you need the smooth path in any profile or you can control the twist by selecting the revolution also let's say if you apply the two number of revolution it will create the two revolution from this point to end point this is the difference between the degree and the revolution while applying the twist value this is the basics of the swept post base not the swept post base swept surface and this is almost similar to the swept post base in the feature this much in the solid box swept surface now in the next tutorial we will study the loft surface